Jerry's right. Thank you so much for joining us on SlingRiverChronicle.com. It's great to have you in our studios. Thanks for having me here. You just completed your, your rookie season in the NFL. Was it what you expected? Uh, you know, f for me, it was a little bit more than what I expected. Uh, coming in early, I, I really didn't, you know, I, I wasn't playing, so I really didn't expect to get a chance, to, my chance to play throughout the season. But um, around week nine, um, with with a key injury, um, a guy went down and my number was called and able to step up. So um, I can I can say the beginning of the season wasn't what I expected, but um, the way the way I finished was good. It finished in a good way for you, yeah. other than other than falling out of the playoffs there. But but we were all proud of you here in Warren. Uh, you did receive a good bit of playing time uh, and, and were very productive. In retrospect, how prepared do you think uh, you were going into the National Football League? Uh, I felt that I was very prepared coming from um, a system like Bo Hembry's offense down here in Warren, throwing the ball a lot, catch, catching a lot of passes basically, and then going up there to Arkansas where Bobby Petrino ran a pro-style offense that was you know, more like the NFL. So um, I got a chance to catch a lot of balls and uh, run, run a lot of the pro-style offense. And then when I got to the NFL, um, everything was kind of similar to what we've done in college. So uh, I think I was very prepared. Yeah, Ryan and I several times have have talked about how your game really developed at Arkansas and, and, and grew substantially. Uh, and, and Coach Embry obviously developed that here as well, but um, we saw you really turn into an outstanding receiver at Arkansas and you did a, did a wonderful job. Uh, a lot of people down here, obviously a lot of Jerry Wright fans down here, it's been that way for a long time, but uh, a lot of them want to know about your weekly routine. They just want to know what you do in season on a weekly basis. Can you run us through that? Um, I'll, I'll start on a Sunday. We usually play on Sundays, so <clears throat> after the game, um, we're, we're free to do whatever. Uh, Mondays is the day we usually, Monday or Tuesday, we usually lift. If you're a rookie, you come in and lift on Mondays. Um, vets have the option to lift on Monday or Tuesday. So um, me, I come in on Mondays, uh, work out. We have what we call a rookie success meeting later in the uh, evening for just for just the new rookies to learn the NFL game and you know learn the do's and the don'ts and learn the ups and the downs and just a whole different type of things that the Minnesota Vikings you know have done for us. I can't say that other teams do it, but I know that we do it here with, with the Minnesota Vikings. So um, we go to the rookie success meeting that's around 10:30, 11, and then meetings start at 12:15 to watch the film that you know the the game that you just played the day before. So um, that usually, we start that at 12.15, which that's special teams, which that's the first meeting. And then we go into a, a team meeting and then we break off into offensive and, de and defensive meetings and watch the film we just, uh, watch the film we just, well the game we just uh, played. Tuesdays is our, is our off day. So like I said, the vets can come in and lift if they want to, but Tuesday is the whole day off, um, nothing to do. Um, so Wednesdays we start back up at practice. Uh, I get to the facilities about 7:30. First meeting start at 8:15. Um, I don't leave till about 6:30. And I mean, uh, it might sound crazy, and people may not expect, you know, you to be up there that long. But uh, it's, it's long days in the NFL. And you know, Thursday Thursday is the long day. Uh, Wednesday's practices are a little shorter because it's the first day of the week. Thursday is the day you really you really get out there, work hard, and grind. And uh, Friday is more of a, a red zone, short area, uh, working on goal line. So, so a lot of so a lot of the stuff is within the twenty yard line. So um, Thursdays is is the practices we we really get at it and we really practice long. And uh, Wednesdays and Fridays are are I mean we go hard on those days too, but we take a little off. And uh, Saturdays, we wake up, we do our walkthrough. If it's a away game, we also travel on Saturdays. And um, that's, um, that's pretty much our schedule. We stay in hotels on Saturday nights, and our curfew is, is at 11. Well, now you're in the off season. Um, how's that going to go? What's, what plan do you have to follow um, before next year? Uh, they gave us a, a booklet to follow. It tells us you know, when we should get back up and start working out, what we should do, uh, some of the areas we should work in. Uh, but they, they told us make sure we take a good three to, three to four weeks off for sure and fully get your body back. Okay. Um, were you able to, to somewhat keep up with your Lumberjacks this fall? Um, I, I was able to keep up with them a little bit. I usually um, have a friend that texts me every Friday and keep, you know, help me keep up with the score and everything. And When we don't play, I actually come down here and uh, and watch a game, 
and I think they they played Malvin this year whenever I got a chance to come down. Oh, back back to the NFL. What really struck you uh, as the most difficult phase of your rookie season? Um, I would say just transitioning, not playing. Uh, I felt like uh, I had a good preseason and you know start of the season. I didn't really get to play like I expected or, or, or wanted to, but. You know, you just get, you you ha you have to understand that it you know it's a business, and you might not be playing now, but the next game you you might you might be needed. So that was the biggest transition for me, just you know understanding that you know I still play a role on the team even though I'm not out there right now. Um, now jumping back to Warren a little bit, we're we're hopping around from topic to topic, but um, I know Minnesota is technically your home now, but Warren's still home, right? Mm -hmm. um, what do you miss when you're away? What do you miss about Warren? Uh, I would just say the friends and the family. Uh, every time I'm down here in Warren, uh, a, a lot of people, they treat me nice. I mean, I really can't explain it. I guess it's Southern hospitality. But, uh, you know, being in other places, like being in Minnesota, you, you don't get that. And uh, it's funny because, it, like, everywhere I go, I always say yes, ma'am, and, and no, ma'am, and yes, sir, and no, sir. And, and everybody always say, you, you must not be from around here. So, <laughs> so I just... Uh, just love being around, being in the South and just being around these people around Warren. Friends and family are what matter, right? Yes, sir, it is. All right, now to the real questions. Uh, it's down to four teams. Unfortunately, uh, Minnesota's not in it. we got San Francisco and Atlanta, Baltimore, and New England. Um, I know a lot of relatively new Vikings fans around here that are pretty upset that, you, that uh, Minnesota's not still in, in the hunt here, but uh, let's get your pick. Who do you think is going to come out on top? Uh, you you know before I pick I'm, I I just want to say uh, you know the Minnesota uh, Viking the new Minnesota Viking fans down here they they can expect a lot from us next year because you know just look at we went three and thirteen last year and for us to go what ten and six this year is a complete turnaround in the NFL but uh, I would like to say San Fran the the 49ers I like their physicality and and the way they play. I know uh, you're talking about. We were talking about a lot of new fans down here. It was kind of odd a few games uh, when Ryan and I were calling Lumberjack games on Lumberjack Live. You look down at the crowd, and occasionally you see a few purple jerseys start to start to kind of kind of come into the the scene amongst that orange. And it was an odd sight, but but uh, we we welcome it. Um, Jerry, so I know it's been been a, a quick interview. We don't want to take up much more of your time. We appreciate you stopping by SlimRiverChronicle.com. Uh, I do want to. I do want to open an invitation to you. If you're down here next fall uh -huh. for a Friday night, come on up to the press box. We'll be glad to have you on with us, uh, and uh, I'm sure our audience would love to to hear your thoughts on the game. And we'd love to invite you to Lumberjack Live. And again, we appreciate you being here, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. And we'll be following you all the way. Well, I appreciate y'all having me, and I'll, I'll definitely have to take you up on that offer. Absolutely. All right. Well, we appreciate it again, and uh, we will hope. And pray that you have a good, safe off season and, uh, and uh, a Super Bowl winning season next year. How about that? Uh, thank you.